So, good afternoon. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I haven't done this for quite a long time, quite a few months. Now I'm back and hopefully I should do some many more. So, welcome to another channel. And I'm going to do a couple of contents here. And if you do enjoy them, click, click the likes up. Subscribe if you're new and just smash those likes up. So, what I'm going to talk about today is um, tomorrow's game against Crystal Palace at Sales Park at 8 o'clock kickoff tomorrow night. So, we need to go there and actually start playing on the front foot because we haven't won for two games, not scoring goals. And we're desperate for a win because at the end of the day, we're not playing well. We're not. And we are such a boring team to watch at this moment in time. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my predictive um, lineup for tomorrow. And I've got to play Darlow and Goal. At right back, you have to play Manquillo. Left back, Jamal Lewis. Centre halves will be Fernandez and Kieran Clark. Lascelles won't be fit because um, he's a mere adult. The midfield, I will play Longstaff. I will play Isaac Hayden. And I'll play ASM on the left, Murphy on the right. I move on to number 10 and Callum Wilson up top on the storm. And that should see us win the game, hopefully. What I like to see from Steve Bruce, I like to see him play for the front foot, not from the back foot, because we are absolutely boring to watch. We are so boring, so ultra defensive, it's absolutely unbelievable. Yeah? And the fact of the matter is, right, the fans are getting sick of it because. We deserve to see good football being played. So this is a great opportunity tomorrow to play for the front foot, take it to Crystal Palace, give it a right go, and hopefully come away with some points. Me personally, I don't think there'll be many goals in it because we don't score enough, Palace don't score enough, despite scoring four past leads as well in the last home game. And the last game they played against Burnley, they got beat by a goal to nil. And it's just a shame that Ryan Fears will not be playing because he's still out in jail. He's another week or two away before fully match fit. So, if we win this game, then we can work away three points and our confidence will be up. Lose this game and the team still has winners, then unfortunately, we could be in a spot of bother because with the games coming up, we've got Aston Villa away. That'd be a tough game. And the way Jack Grease is playing, he is playing fantastic. And for me, he is the Premier League player of the season already, in my eyes. And then we've got to play West Brom at home. That should be three points, but it won't be easy. Then we've got a tough trip away to Leeds United. Again, the way they're playing, they probably absolutely stuff us anyway. Let's be real about it. And then we're playing Fulham at home, and that has to be a must win. We don't win those games. And then we've got Brentford away in the Carlin Cup, or the Carabao Cup, sorry. Lose that game, and then Steve Bruce's stairs as num as manager of Newcastle should be non bad because for me he's lost the players. There's player on rest, according to reports, and it doesn't look good for him. He has actually ruined the attacking players' career, and he's not allowing the players to express themselves, which is so frustrating. Because all we want to see is a fantastic Newcastle team going up there, giving it their best shot and playing the role. And they're not because Steve Bruce is actually pulling them back and he shouldn't have done that. So it's so frustrating, first fans, the players, but we need a big change there. So tell us what you think, right? Leave a comment down there below, subscribe if you're new, and hopefully I shall be back doing a press conference reaction. Steve Bruce has done that idea, and let's see what you have to say, and I should have my opinions on it. So, until then, catch you later, lass. Ciao.